Celestron's new StarSense Explorer line of telescopes brings astronomy even closer to the beginner or anyone with a fleeting desire to check out our universe. Being lightweight, easy to set up, and app-based, it allows novice to experts to enjoy the night sky with minimal effort. Perfect for outreach events, very little time is needed for setup, and even the heaviest bump on the tripod will not affect its performance. Couple this with low pricing, and you'll see a lot of people are going to be attracted to this line. Coming in four separate flavors and two model types, you have the LT80AZ and the LT114AZ, followed by the DX series with the DX130AZ and the DX102AZ. Other than the actual size of the telescopes, the major differences between the four are two are being refractors versus two that are reflectors. And the LT and the DX have different type of mounting styles. To start with, you get the OTA, a manual atezimuth mount and slow motion controls, an accessory tray, both a 25mm and 10mm eyepieces, red dot finder scope, smartphone docking station, and finally paperwork including easy to follow set of directions and your code to access the StarSense app that will also allow you to load up to five different smartphone devices. You can also expect a 2x Barlow on the LT series of scopes. First time setup should only take about 15 to 25 minutes. Once familiar with how it goes together, it should not take you any more than 5 minutes when you're in the field. The mount does not need to be polar aligned as the app takes care of directing you correctly regardless of position, elevation, or levelness. This enables quick setup, even if you get to the field right at dusk, you still do not have to rush. You do not need Wi-Fi to access the app when in the field for it to even work. However, you do need Wi-Fi to download the app the very first time. Well, rather it is recommended due to its file size. Once downloaded, the app walks you through setup and alignment and then becomes standalone. Be forewarned that the app does not work on every cell phone. While it should work on the majority of the new ones out there, there are still a few that it won't work on. Be sure to check the Celestron website to see if your phone is comparable. Understand that this is not a computerized go-to mount. There are no motors to drive the axis. You are provided two dual-axis slow-motion controllers that will adjust in altitude and azimuth. The attachment of the OTA to the mount also allows for easy movement of the OTA by hand for more coarse adjustments, and then you can dial it in with the controls. Once your scope is set up, you simply start the app and follow the simple and easy directions. Aligning your camera on the back of your smartphone over the mirror begins the process. Follow this by lining up the OTA on a distant object, then dialing the smartphone crosshairs, and then finally, the red dot finder can be aligned as well. The app uses GPS to find your location and will even tell you what is visible on that particular night. It also has the ability to let you know what is viewable from your location depending on sky conditions. While being marketed to be able to use from the city to a dark sky, you will find that less objects are viewable depending on your light pollution. This of course depends on the brightness of the object as well, so in turn, being in darker skies allows for more dim objects to be viewable. You can manually decide what to look at or press the star icon to view the evening's best objects. The app basically views the stars above you and will then provide you arrows showing you exactly where to position your scope to view the object. Different colors dictate how far away you are and change as you get closer. Usually course adjustments are made by pushing the OTA close to the area of interest. You then use the slow motion controls to dial it in. The green square shows you're right on it. Based on the technology, I found that the app does a pretty good job getting you close. Using the 25mm eyepiece to start off with will most definitely place the object in your field of view. While it may show dead center on the app, it may not be dead center on the OTA. Again though, it's pretty close. Once you do center it, swapping out the eyepiece for the 10mm or swapping in your Barlow will allow greater magnification. The app of course has to be somewhat general due to different eyepiece sizes and it's a one app fits all four scope sizes. So that being said, it still does a great job of getting you right there. The app will even talk to you and give you background on some of the objects you're viewing. This is a nice feature to hear while viewing the object. There are some objects that are not spoken, but you can read it on the app as well. Finally, the app has a night feature, turning the screen red to aid you in keeping your eyes adjusted to the dark. 
What makes the scope setup amazing and groundbreaking is that this is a non-computerized mount scope that can still be used to accurately see deep sky objects and planets without having to learn star charts or study planetarium programs. No prior knowledge is needed, there's no guessing, there's no frustration. In addition, its simplicity and lightweight allows anyone to place it into the back of their car and drive out to the country and pop it up for a night out on the town. Of course, you can even use it in town, in your backyard, or on top of a building rooftop. Of course, once you start seeing things through the eyepiece, it'll probably entice you to head out further to get to darker skies to see even more astounding objects.